Welcome back to another GT Homes exclusive. One of the questions we often hear is, can I make money on my pre-construction investment by charging rent? Great question. When you buy a condo unit in the pre-construction phase, it usually takes about three to five years before the condo is built. This means that you can charge your tenants with future rental rates. Once the condominium is built and the property finally closes, the rental rate will likely increase, which means that you can benefit from charging future rental rates and paying for lower carrying costs because you purchased a unit years ago. Now you might be wondering, what if rental rates don't actually increase in the future, but instead decrease? Great question. As we all know, 2020 came with many setbacks and challenges. And during the height of the pandemic, rental rates declined. But based on a recent report by Urban Asian and CIBC Economics, investors of pre-construction units were in a much better cash flow position than resale investors. In fact, 80% of resale condo investors were cash flow negative, which means that they lost money on their investment month over month last year. The reason why pre-construction investors were in a better cash flow position is because many of the condo units that were ready for occupancy in 2020 were actually purchased in 2016 or 2017. During that time, the purchase price for pre-sale units were lower, which means that these investors now have a lower monthly carrying costs. Monthly carrying costs are the cost to maintain the property. These costs include mortgage payments, maintenance fees, property taxes, and so on. On the other hand, resale investors who bought their unit last year and leased it out right away were cash flow negative because their carrying costs were much higher. So even though both pre-construction investors and resale investors had to charge a lower rental rates, pre-construction investors were still able to make some money each month from their investment. Even though there was a short dip in the rental market, the fact of the matter is that we're still facing a housing gap. Currently, the supply for housing is low and demand is high, which means rental rates are expected to make a full recovery. With the economy starting to open back up again, the rental market slowdown is finally coming to an end. The average rental rates are starting to resemble pre-COVID levels as demand starts to pick up again. As more people go back to work and more students go back to in-person learning, rental rates will continue to increase. What we can learn from this report is that even though there are fluctuations in the housing market, pre-construction condo investors still profit when the market is down, and they will continue to profit even more when the market is up. Remember, pre-construction is a long-term investment and you should envision in future rental rates and higher appreciation when making this purchase. Even if there are highs and lows in the market, you can still profit from a pre-construction investment compared to a resale investment. This has been another GT Homes exclusive. Remember to subscribe and to visit us at gtahomes.com.